Hello! Are you using the new Bullseye version of the Raspberry Pi operating system, uh, but you're finding that you cannot use Alt-Tab to switch between all of your windows? Like Here I have a Bullseye running, and as you can see, as I press down on Alt-Tab, it really only flips between the last two windows. However, if I hold down on the Shift key as well, so Alt-Shift-Tab, it does cycle through every window that's open. So why is that? They've made a switch to the window manager. We're now using something called Mutter, and for whatever reason, Alt-Tab just doesn't work here. So there is a way to get Alt-Tab working again, and that's to go back to the old window manager that we had called Openbox. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. Before we get into that, uh, I do wanna point out that um, I've been using that method for a while and it does seem to work for me. Uh, there might be some downsides that I haven't seen yet. What we're going to do as part of this switch is we'll leave some stuff in place so that we can easily revert back if it turns out that things start going sideways. Alright, so let's get into it. So to make this switch, there are two things that we need to do. We need to edit one configuration file, and we need to take a copy of another configuration file and bring it into our home folder. Let's start with editing the configuration file that tells Raspberry Pi that we want to use Openbox instead of Mutter. So to start, you can go to your start menu and open up a text editor. I like to use Genie, but there's also, uh, for example, under accessories, there's text editor down there. I'm just going to go up to Genie. You pick whatever one you want. Once it loads up, go to File and Open. And within your home folder, you have to browse for the file. And normally, you cannot see any hidden files, and we need to get into a hidden folder. So right-click somewhere on the open space and then check this option, Show Hidden Files. Once you have that, then now you can scroll up to the top, and in here there will be a folder called .config. Here it is here. So double click to get in there. And then next we need to scroll to find the folder called LX Session. That's this here. Double click. And then here is another folder for us to get into, lxde-py. And here we are. This is the file we need to edit. So we were in .config, lxsession, lxde-py. And the file we want is desktop.conf for config. So double-click that to open. And then you'll see it's a, it's a plain text file. And the one thing we need to change is this line here, this second line where it says window underscore manager equals mutter. We're going to change that to say open box. Now, what I like to do, so it's easy to go back, is to take a copy of that. So I'm pressing Control C to copy. I'll press Control V to paste. I'll put a number sign on one of them number sign it acts as a comment so this line gets ignored and now I'll take this copied line and change mutter to say open box and that's it that's the first thing we need to do so hit the save button now and we are done with this piece okay the next step is to take a specific configuration file for open box and store that inside of our home folder Let's start by getting the home folder prepared. So go ahead and open up a file manager window. And here, just like we saw with the Genie text editor, it doesn't show any hidden files by default, and we need to get into the hidden folders. So uh, we can go to the View menu and say Show Hidden. Let me bring this over here to the center. Okay. And now, once again, we're going to scroll up until we see .config. There it is. And what we want to do is 
put a new configuration file inside of a folder called openbox. So I already have one here because I've been playing with these configuration files before. If you don't have this folder, then you can click on this button here to create new folder and then it'll prompt you for a name. So you'll type in open box and press OK and then you'll have that folder. So I'll just hit cancel now because I already have it and I will go into the folder. All right, so now we have our open box folder created. Now you can see here I already have a file here and this is because in my last video about using the Raspberry Pi, I showed you how to create custom keyboard shortcuts for Openbox. And this is the file that we had to create in order to do that. So if you had done that, if you had followed along with, with that tutorial and you have this file, the next step is really easy. You just need to take this file and rename it as rc.xml. Um, so as example, so I'll just say control C to copy, control V to paste, and then I will change this name to rc.xml and hit the rename button. And there we go. That, that would be it. So now you will be able to just log out, log back in, and you will have Raspberry Pi running with the open box window manager. You'll have alt tab, you'll have all of your custom shortcuts. Everything will work as it did before. Now, that's only if you already had that file. If you didn't, now we have to go find the appropriate file and bring it here. So, you know what, I'm going to delete this file. So let's say that we didn't have this one. Now we're gonna look for a file with that name and we're going to copy it into this folder. So let's open up another file manager. And this time, let me bring this down over here. So click on file system root. And here we have to start navigating into some uh, system folders. So double click to get into this folder, Etsy and then scroll down to the folder xdg. Where is it? Here it is, xdg. And in here, we have open box, go into that. And here we go. Here we have three XML files. What we want to do is we want to take this file, copy it into our own personal dot config open box folder, but name it as rc.xml because for whatever reason, with the old Raspberry Pi, it used to be reading its configurations from this file, but now it's reading its configurations from rc.xml. So I will select this file. I will go to edit copy this time instead of using keyboard shortcuts. I go back into our dot config open box folder in here and I can say paste. And once again, we'll get that prompt. And we are going to rename this as rc.xml. Hit the rename. And that's done. So now we're good to go. We can log out and then come back into Raspberry Pi. And we'll see that we have alt tab working again. So let's do that. Hey, and we're back. I ended up taking my personalized copy of the Openbox XML file. If you can see here, I've got some custom entries here for doing the screenshots. I have a number of windows open. You can see as I hold down on Alt-Tab, we get that nice little interface that lets us see what we're gonna switch to. Uh, and then when you release the Alt key, then you've got your window. And like I said, because I'm using my custom config file, if I do something as defined here, like hold down on shift as I hit the print screen, then I get my custom print screen action going, which will create the uh, selected image for me using the SCROT tool. So that's it for this video. In my next video, I'll talk about how you can keep using the new Mutter window manager, but still be able to create custom keyboard shortcuts using another tool. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you did like this, please do give it a like and subscribe so you can see more content when it comes. Thanks and bye now.